staff twisting release move. Unbelievable. Only a few men do that skill on high bar. Here's your second release move. You can see she has a few form deductions. Full twisting double back, highly difficult routine. Very original. What a big trick this is. This is called a death. It was invented by a French gymnast named Jacques Death. It's a flip and one and a half twist before she re-grabs the bar. Rista Kieva earns a 9.887 on the bars. Over at the floor exercise now chalking up is Tatiana Gutsu. In light of all the hardships since the fall of the Soviet Union, we asked her what role sport plays in her life. Gymnastics is my life. Because of all the changes in my country, it's good that I'm in sports. Obviously, the independent states are still supporting their athletes. They're great ambassadors for their new countries. Gutsu is currently in second. This is her final effort of the day. She has a unique first half. Watch closely. The double layout, which we have seen, but she splits her leg in the first somersault. Right there. That's really something the judges look for. Originality, as well as difficulty in the tumbling room. Now she's upgraded the difficulty in her routine and added this pass. It's two whip back. Into a double back. Now anybody who's seen Kim Zemesco compete knows she does three whip back. So they could actually be in a tumble off in Barcelona. Now she would do the more difficult height full twisting double back at the end. Oh, a little short on the landing. That will be a slight deduction. This opening tumbling pass is really impressive. Most gymnasts are happy just to make this around without landing on their nose. Watch what she does. She splits her legs in the first flip. Nice originality. Her last tumbling run was the full in pike. She's very short of rotation. But that's the kind of difficulty it's going to take if she hopes to win the gold in Barcelona. Well, she's certainly been giving it her best effort. The judges give her a 9.95. Here comes the 14-year-old Gina Gojan, who's currently in third. And I watched her practice this routine. I have never seen anyone move faster in my life, except maybe Carl Lewis. Terrific opening tumbling run. Now, I know it looks like we sped the tape up, but this is her actual speed of movement. Great music for it, too. That's traditional Romanian music. It's the pan flute. It's amazing she can expend so much energy on the dance and still come up with very difficult tumbling runs. commercial she just keeps on going a very entertaining routine by Gina Gojian and though she can't win the gold here she is gaining valuable experience Gojian is one of a couple of gymnasts the Romanians are grooming for Olympic glory our drama here continues when Svetlana Boganskaya performs her final routine in her attempts to equal the great Nadia Comaneci by winning her third all around these championships when we return all right Gymnastics' greatest stars in their greatest moments. Kathy Rigby, Kurt Thomas, Mark Connor. Maybe a gold medal! 
Now three decades of gymnastics history can be yours on home video. To order, call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. Only $24.98 plus $3 shipping. There's Gina Gojan awaiting the official marks, and she gets a 9.937 from the judges. That puts her into second place behind Tatiana Gutsu. Now here is Svetlana Bogomskaya. She's our leader at the end of the third round. A strong score here, a 9.925, will win her third European All-Around Championship. This is a dramatic new routine with a Spanish flair. <laughs> Magnificent presence. She's very much like an actress, as well as a gymnast. Certainly commands the attention of the audience. see her make that kind of mistake. And it cost her the European title, right there. She's actually very sluggish on all of her tumbling passes. In fact, I was quite surprised that she watered down all three of them. You're right. It appears she's been spending her time working on the choreography of this routine, which is very nice, and is not necessarily in top condition to do the highest level of difficulty. Her last tumbling run, she was warming up a double backflip to a punch front. But here she was clearly shorter rotation and tired. Still can't believe she put her hands down. Bogenskaya just does not do that. A big shock in the mark for a disappointed Bogenskaya, 9.325. So your all-around champion is the shy Tatiana Gutsu. The final results in the all-around competition at the 1992 European Gymnastics Championship, Gutsu wins the gold. Bogenskaya drops down to fifth place, and interestingly enough, athletes from the Ukraine take three of the top six places. So as a result of the high-flying performances by the Ukrainians like Gutsu, perhaps we're witnessing the beginnings of a new gymnastics dynasty. For my partners, Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor, this is John Neighbor saying so long from Nantes. Many of the gymnasts we've been watching today will compete at the 1992 Olympic Games.